Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. I apologize, I have not posted a video for the last two weeks. I have had some personal family issues going on, so I've been dealing with that. But I am back now. Today, we're gonna be doing a breakfast and booty building workout. So if you're about a yummy breakfast and some booty building, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe with the bell so you are notified when I do upload a video because I do my best to upload one every single Saturday. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so if you've been following me for a while, you do know that I share a lot of health and fitness tips. Um, over, a little over a year ago, I hit my highest weight of 175 pounds. And I know weight is not everything, don't look at the scale, blah, 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 but I am five foot four. That is a lot of weight for my little frame. I did not feel good about my body. I did not feel good in general. My clothes weren't fitting well, so I took several changes to drop that number and just feel better about my body as a whole. So I like to share my journey with you, some of the tips, some of the things I've learned in order to do that. And I am also almost done with my personal training certification. So I do have the research and the studies to back up what I am saying. So I hope what I'm sharing is helpful. Today's breakfast, we're going to be eating oats. And I know a lot of people say to stay away from carbohydrates if you are trying to lose weight or lead a healthy lifestyle. I disagree. I think that complex carbs like oats, sweet potatoes, rice, things like that aren't bad. I think they're actually needed in your diet, especially if you are like me and you do lift weights at the gym. You need these complex carbs to be broken down into glycogen to give your body the energy to lift those weights. And again, you don't have to be lifting heavy. Everyone is different, every body is different, and you will all start at a different level. But complex carbs break down into glycogen, which give your body the fuel to do that. So I'm a big oat eater for breakfast, so we're gonna be making some oats. So this is enough oats for both Deuce and I. We love oatmeal for breakfast, and we've been doing our best to kind of limit um, meat, or at least red meat. We are still eating some poultry and some fish, um, but we watched that Netflix documentary, Game Changer, and it was kind of eye-opening. Um, and seeing the positive differences that eating a plant-based diet makes on a body, especially an athletic body. So um, we're doing our best to make little changes. Like I said, we are still eating some poultry and some fish, um, but we're trying to limit the amount of red meat and the dairy that we are intaking. So, Oats are a good way to get a plant-based breakfast. You're gonna get some healthy plant-based protein. Again, those complex carbs to fuel your body uh, and give it the energy it needs to get through your day and your workout. To sweeten it up, I add a little bit of ground cinnamon. Cinnamon's really good for you. It helps speed up your metabolism. So adding it in little ways in your diet is helpful. And then this is it's a Splenda brown sugar, so um, I'm not huge on you know artificial sweeteners, but I do need a little bit of sweetener to sweeten up our oatmeal. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that. I'm gonna dice up some strawberries because Deuce likes strawberries in his oatmeal, and I do as well. Just a tip: um, I like to keep my strawberries in an airtight container with a paper towel on the bottom and a paper towel on top. This helps them last so much longer. Do not wash them before, wash them just before you eat them. So I just washed these few down here and I'm gonna cut them up. And last but not least, I get this trail mix from Trader Joe's. 
I want to say it's called their antioxidant one. I'm not entirely certain. I took it out of its package and I keep everything in my pantry in these little Tupperwares. Um, but it's almonds, cashews, and dried cranberries, and they're all raw, nothing salted or roasted. I like to top oatmeal with that. It's gonna get some healthy fats from the nuts and antioxidants from those cranberries. Look at that. So yummy, so good, so filling. And we get everything we need in there. The micronutrients from the fruit, the healthy fats from the nuts. We get some protein and complex carbs from the oatmeal. So very delicious and wholesome breakfast. Okay, so I got my breakfast here. I got my coffee, water, my vitamins. I just take a multivitamin, a prenatal, and a um, coenzyme Q10. Is it good, babe? Maybe. <laughs> he loves my oatmeal. He also adds in toast because he, he needs to eat a lot more than I do. But we're gonna finish this. We're gonna run some errands and then head to the gym later and share my workout with you. So I will check in later. So I had a really good workout. I'm all sweaty, I'm really tired, I'm gonna be super sore. I wanna talk a little bit more about how I lost those 30 pounds and I think a huge way that I was able to do that other than diet is by working out legs and booty twice a week. I swear by doing that and here is why. Your glutes or your butt is the biggest muscle in your body. So the more time you spend working and strengthening and building that muscle, the more muscle mass you will have in your body. And in turn, the more muscle mass you have in your body, the faster you burn fat, the higher your metabolism is. So I think a really good strategy if you're looking to burn fat and to slim down really quickly is to spend a lot of time working on your glutes. So some of those workouts that I shared are very targeted towards the glutes. A lot of people say that squats are the way to build your butt and they do work your butt. Squats do work your booty. But the primary, mu primary muscle that you're using during squats is going to be your quads or the muscle on the front of your thighs. So some of the other workouts that I did show target more of the booty or the glutes. So yeah, I hope that was helpful for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. When I am working out legs or actually any muscle group, I like to do six to eight different must different workouts and three to four sets of that workout. So I hope that 
kind of helps you break down your workout a little more. I have a video that I've done in the past where I kind of lay out my workout. I will link it right up above. Um, and I can also share a calendar of my workouts on my blog. So if you go to lexferrante.com, there is a calendar of my workouts there as well. But I really appreciate you guys watching. It means the world to me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button with the bell so you are notified when I do upload a new video because I upload one every Saturday or do my best to. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys so much. It means the world to me that you took the time to watch this. I will catch you soon. Mwah.